Hey guys, my name is Tana and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing the all brand new Volo C40. If there's a way to start the video and show you the best spot of this car, this must be it because technically the C40, which obviously is similar to the XC40, are on the same platform, same chassis, same build up. What's different, however, is the, the rear slope you see over here. The design of the C40 is meant to be a more sporty coupe and uh, it does show, you know, you've got this very sharp lines coming down here and you've got this almost uh, Gundam uh, Macross style uh, air vent looking things there which does look the part. And if you go to the back, if you just see the uh, back uh, lights over here, they've gone with a totally different outlook on the rear lights. The previous uh, generation of the Volvos have got the, obviously that uh, little um, kind of a C shape there, but now they've gone all out and you see that it just uh, swoops across, it goes from all the top, it goes down and it goes slip and slash and I think it does look beautiful. Now, following three from what I said from the rear, as you can see, there's this dotted lines for the lights and then it's one simple swish. Let me lock and unlock for you to show you how it looks like. So this is lock and this is unlock. The only thing I wish that it did differently was that you saw that how it kind of swoops across how I wish that even this signal light came with a dynamic light, so there's also a switch there. But you know what? Uh, it's totally fine. It looks the part. It is uh, definitely a beautiful tail light. Sexy, isn't it? Now, in the back, you've got this little, little bitty itty bitty spoiler there, which again um, reminds me of um, a more uh, a coupe like design. If you look at the back over here, the whole idea of a sports coupe is definitely accentuated. You've got the, the arrow here that comes out, and uh, it this. It's nothing, it's blanked out, but it does give you an arrow and it comes down and there's this uh, bit over here. Now, there are no rear wiper on this car, but I think it's a, such a short uh, window frame. Uh, I don't think it's required. Coming the back here, now this is supposed to be a crossover SUV and um, you have this plastic cladding so you can go off-road or go slightly off-road uh, conditions and have mud and uh, terrain uh, to come over here. Now. The highest spec of this vehicle overseas was a 20-inch rim, but in Malaysia, thankfully, they've gone for the 90-inch because this will give you a much more comfortable ride. Being an EV, it is definitely heavier, so you need much more suspension. And as I always say, suspension is 40% from the shocks, 40% from the uh, tire, and 20% from all the other bits. And definitely having a larger amount of rubber does help with the suspension. So in the rear, it's very wide, it's 255, I believe, and the front, it's 235. Let's go up here. Now, styling cues wise, uh, you will see that the front here is almost identical to the XC40, except one small detail, which is this vent over here. Now, being a EV, it doesn't require a vent, uh, although you do get vents down here to cool the uh, systems in the car. And, uh, and yeah, this is gonna be the new design language of Volvo in the lineup. In fact, even the XC40 in future iterations, I believe is gonna get the same treatment on having this blocked out look, and I think it does look pretty. With all things Volvo and excellent uh, in their design, this car is obviously uh, <laughs> just entry. And once you get inside, the biggest difference, the biggest difference of the C40 is that your conscience, yes, your because why this car is totally vegan yes my dear friends we speak about how volvo makes excellent interior uh, the leather is so plush well this car has zero leather byproducts you will see that what you get is you get this microfiber material on the side here and this is a kind of a, like a pleather material and i must say it's definitely soft to touch see if you can hear this yeah it's very nice and let's jump inside and show you more uh, what you get on the bins over here, you still get the same uh, plush um, carpeted material, very nice, very comfortable. Uh, you still get things like you know, your nice quality aluminum um, door handles. All the materials are definitely still solid. And even if you go on this over here, this is almost kind of a textured uh, plastic material and I'm quite digging how it's what turned out. Come inside, you get the same Volvo inspired design I love these uh, air vents here. They are so easy to operate with one finger or one, one hand, actually. I can control the up and down, left and right, and the volume of air that comes out. Beautiful. Inside, you get the same beautiful uh, steering you get in all the Volvos. And happy to report 
although it's an EV, Volvo did not go down the route of making touch sensitive uh, buttons. You get actual physical buttons. How cool is that? Volvo does know how to make um, um, cars that uh, speak to you and I think this is no exception. The center over here, like the XC40, is a smaller uh, screen unlike the XC90, obviously because it's a smaller car, but in the same way you get all the features that you get before, your AC control and your volume of air with one flicker button and press home, you're back. Now, unlike other car manufacturers like Mercedes and Audi and BMW where they spend multi million dollars to get the best possible navigation, Volvo has done one better. Uh, this is a Google enabled device and you've got Google Maps there. You got Google services there. If you link up to your phone, you get uh, Google based applications on your device. Uh, Apple CarPlay is also enabled on this, but yeah, it's meant to be a Google friendly vehicle. So now as a passenger stepping in, what do you see? Well, you definitely see that um, all the bits over here, they are no longer um, covered in leather, but you do get quality material. As you can see there, these plastics are actually very nice and this is something that's pretty cool. What is this? Well, this is um, a shoot, a shoot to put stuff. Imagine you had some device here and you're driving the car and you want to just throw it in there. Instead of opening this latch and putting it inside, just drop it in and you know what? It's in. So it's a very neat feature I haven't seen in any other car. Um, and this is definitely a plus point if uh, you guys get the XC40 or even the, um, the, uh, the C40. And this comes out like a bin. See that? How cool is that? So this is basically your trash bin. Um, and, and yeah, it's very cool. Okay. So um, on this side, you have your coin box, which is on, on this end here. And obviously, like the other Volvos, you get this secret compartment to put your cart up there. Let's choose the public bank card. <laughs> so you can actually put it up there and that's your slot to put your card. So uh, definitely a cool feature to have. Now it's a coupe and what that means is people will say, what about headroom? Well, I'm five foot seven uh, and my headroom is totally fine. So I think for most Asians, the C40 will sit in a nice segment. It's definitely spacious enough. And, uh, and yeah, I'm not complaining. And what makes it even better is that the C40 comes with, wait for it, look up, panoramic uh, roof. This is not a sunroof, it is just uh, a fixed glass. So um, unlike other sunroof you get in the past, uh, it might have a little bit uh, the side or in the center. This is just one big piece over here. Now come home, have a look at what I see. If you see what I see, it's just, you know, even the camera can't pick up where is the end of this because why? That's the edge. If you go there, look at that, look at that. You know, even the camera cannot pick up the edge of uh, the glass because uh, from where I sit, all I see is just the sky. So it's definitely uh, quite magnificent to be back here. Um, the top, you got black, uh, almost like a fabric velvet or not like fabric material there. Uh, quite, quite nice. And, um, and yeah. As usual, the, the all uh, comfortable, ergonomic design seats from Volvo. One thing, however, which I'm like, ah, oh, I wish they do better, was that this is based on the XC40. So what that means was it was designed for a uh, tunnel. And fair enough, hold and behold, you have a center tunnel on an EV, which is totally unrequired. But you know what? They spend money building the uh, chassis, they must use it. Uh, but I believe in the future, you're going to have um, much better placement of the tunnel tunnel. It will be, it'll be gone and probably you have uh, much more leg room uh, going down because it's an EV. So the front, is there engine? Now obviously it's no engine, but what you do get is, let me find the uh, placeholder to pull up the, on this side is it? Yep, I see it, okay. So what you do get is this nice big cover with a very small place to put stuff in. Yes, it's small, but think about this. If you have an EV or even a hybrid, one of the things I hated was the fact there's no spot to put your cables and chargers and all those things there. Over here, you got a spot to put your cables tucked in over here and I think it's a good spot. If you open this up, you got your tire repair kit as well as your tow hook and your inflator kit for the tire repair. So yeah, so it's uh, accessible quite easily, quite nice. And uh, who knows, you can maybe even hide your wine bottle when you uh, go uh, for a picnic in your all brand new EV.
Now, all of you are wondering how big is the booth space? Well, I think adequate is the word. I had to um, be a baby in there, but it's adequate. And uh, the best part about this was the uh, this bit over here. There is no uh, recess, so it means it's flat. You can throw stuff in. And to make it better, you got this. One hole, and you pull up, you got a divider. See there, there's a, there's, a divi there's a latch there. And this makes a divider, so you can put stuff there so it doesn't roll out. And you can put more stuff here. Imagine your groceries, your, you know, your brinjols and your tomatoes and potatoes. All that can go inside here because it's quite a deep spot to put stuff in. So yeah, pretty cool to have this spot there. And once you make it flat, you get the space there. Now, unfortunately, there's no spot for you to pull a lever to make it drop. You have to go to the back. And uh, I believe it's somewhere here. And yeah, but once you do, look at that. It's a flat spot flat space to put stuff in. Let me just get the other seat. Look at that. So you do get a lot of space to put stuff in. Um, improvements I wish they did better was this uh, tunnel cover. This thing uh, has to be here. You can't put it uh, below there, I believe. So um, this is kind of a, I, I wish it was different, you know. Now, how does the boot capacity uh, fare with the XC40? It's only marginally lesser because um, what you get with the coupe is that you get this uh, slightly arched back and you lose that probably about three or four centimeters and that's the only difference in boot space. Other than that, they are actually about the same. Overall, what do I think? Well, it's a sexy little car and if you're driving an EV, you better be sexy because why? Uh, you want people to look at you and uh, with the lights, with the design of the rear, uh, rear corner, as well as the front with its uh, blocked out grille, I think it's a looker. Would I consider this? Definitely. I think this is one of those vehicles that uh, Volvo has put together to give you uh, pure enjoyment with uh, electric power. And, and yeah, so check it out. Coming to a showroom near you, the price will be announced soon on the 14th. So uh, stay tuned and uh, yeah, as always, have fun and stay safe. Bye guys.